Today I'll be showing you how to set up React animations using the library React Tween State. Um, it's a great new library that has a more React friendly way of doing animations. You can check out their GitHub for more information. It's uh, pretty well documented. We're going to be doing a simple sidebar. There's nothing really to it. It's just a sidebar that toggles in and out. I'm using Middleman for my framework for this. Uh, it's just a static site generator that allows me to use things like CoffeeScript, SAS, and Slim. Uh, so right now, here's my application uh, coffee file that has React and then a home page file. The home page file just has uh, some basic starter code that uh, just renders the sidebar statically into the page. And it uh, renders it into this basic uh, div with an ID of home page wrapper. And I also included some basic styles to start out. So you see here, this is what we're starting with. Doesn't do anything, but we'll get it to move in a second. I'm using Bower, so I'm going to use that to get the React Tween State Library. And then I just need to include it in my application JavaScript file. And they actually have a file explicitly for Bower. The way they show how to use React Tween State, you use inline styles like this. So you actually define uh, your styles in the render function, and then you include that style variable in the uh, div of choice. So I have you know, style, style, and it pulls from this. So to set up uh, React Tween State, you need to define the value that you want to move in get initial state. And it goes in there just like all the other state values. So we'll define it as negative 500 so it starts hidden. And then in the, here you need to define get tweening value and then the value you want to change with animations. Uh, now we'll add an on click handler. and add that up here. Oh, I actually have to spell sidebar correctly. And now we can just add uh, the code they show in their GitHub. Uh, you just call uh, this.tweenState. The at symbol just does that uh, in CoffeeScript. And then you choose the attribute you want to change. Uh, then they have uh, easing types. I'm just going to use the one they used as well. You set the duration, and then uh, you can use logic like this to change it from one value to the other. So I have it saying that if it's zero, then give it negative 500, uh, else make it zero. Last, you just need to include the mixin, tween state mixin, and then start up your server. It's running, hit refresh, and now you have a toggling sidebar. And that's it. It's that simple.